this is clean reach. It's advertised as a revolutionary household cleaner that can take the bending out of cleaning. But does it work or is it just a sponge on a stick? That's what I'm going to find out in this review of Clean Reach. To use uh, Clean Reach, you can take one of your pads here and the handle, which has Velcro on it, as you can see there, and then you simply line them up. You can use this side for uh, scrubbing to pull it off, and then you can use the other side for, I think they said smoothing and polishing. So one of the uses for Clean Reach is to clean the top of door jam. So I'm going to see how that works. You're supposed to use the light side for that and the, this flat edge. So we're going to put that to the test and see how it works. I guess you can do it multiple ways like that. Yeah, I think that did a pretty good, pretty good job. Simple but efficient. seem kind of weird sometimes so I think that it's probably good for light scrubbing in the bathtub but I don't know if I would do that for deep cleaning. Something else that I've noticed is that the scrubbing side which is this blue side um, it does a pretty good job of scrubbing but it doesn't really pick up anything I'm seeing a lot of residue left behind so I'm having to go over with the other side the soft side to kind of pick up that dirt it kind of takes the convenience out of having this on a handle when you have to get down there and wipe it up anyways or use the other side which is supposed to be for other purposes. Interesting. It's not really picking up the dirt, it's just kind of moving around. It's just kind of, yeah, it's moving it around. It's just yeah, kind just of sliding it around. Maybe you should try the other side. Oh, look at that nasty. That's a nastiness. To pick well, actually, it up. yeah. Yeah, that side picked it up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. You can tilt it this way, but you really can't swivel it that way. One problem I'm noticing is that it accumulates dirt very quickly. It's good that it picks up the dirt, but getting it off there isn't quite as mess free as I'd like for it to be. Say you've been cleaning all day and you, you've used both sides of the uh, cleaning pad. You decide, hey, I want to use um, the other side. You kind of have to touch this nasty pad. I guess that kind of comes with the territory of cleaning, but just keep in mind that it, when you're squeezing it and touching it, you're going to have to kind of, you're going to have to touch that. I 
guess it cleans up okay. It's not too bad after spending um, quite a bit of time uh, using both sides cleaning it. So I don't know how long these pads are going to last to get three of them in the box. Um, I probably imagine this would last about one or two more sessions and that would be about it for this one. So it does stand up on its own though. That's kind of cool. What I find interesting is that the advertising says that the secret of clean reach is in its ergonomic handle. But I find it interesting that the handle you get in the box is different than the handle they show in the advertising. The one in the advertising is kind of a two interlocking rectangular pieces. This is a circular piece that, that telescopes. Unlike a lot of as seen on TV handles, I haven't had a problem with this one uh, being real flimsy. This is actually not a bad handle. It's not terribly long, but it seems pretty sturdy and I don't have a problem with it collapsing when I apply pressure. So in that case, the handle is actually pretty good. In addition to the handle looking different, something else that I noticed is that the pad looks different. If you see how thin this pad is, the one in the commercial is significantly thicker. There's also another picture of padding that looks different than this also on the website. In fact, the website shows two different types of pads, but the one that I received in the box is thinner than the one they depict in the advertising. Not necessarily a big deal, but something worth noting. This is a pad that has been used to clean baseboards, kitchen floor, bathroom floor, shower, windowsill. This is an unused pad. Used for a full day, unused. No, this isn't the latest uh, selfie for Instagram. Here's a mirror that with a pretty significant dust buildup, and I'm gonna see how the clean reach does cleaning that, and you can kind of see from my perspective what I'm seeing. And I did put, uh, water on the clean reach already. I mean, not bad. It's definitely an improvement. I think maybe I should try just a blast of glass cleaner and see if I can get the rest of the streaks off of here. Not particularly easy with one hand, by the way. This is not really a one-handed job, but I'm trying to film and do this at the same time. One thing I'm noticing is it's kind of moving the dirt around, not really picking it up. See that? It's it's kind of it's kind of moving the dust, but the dust is just kind of staying there. If you can see that or not. I'm really not sure this is easier than just using a, a rag or a paper towel to be honest at this point. But this is actually probably more awkward than the normal way of cleaning it. Especially with one hand. Let me try let me try two hands here. Easier with two hands, still having the problem of uh, dust kind of just getting smeared around. Again, they say it's touch free, but I'm having to still wipe this off. So I'm touching it. I mean, it does an okay job. I wouldn't say it's much better than it would have been on more traditional methods, but I mean, it's clean. I give it that. Would that have just been easier to do with a rag and a glass cleaner? Probably. Normally when I conclude a video, I kind of give my final opinion on a product, but with Clean Reach, I don't really know what to say. If you were to say that this is nothing but a glorified sponge on a stick, I couldn't really argue with you, because it really is a sponge on a stick. But it's probably the best sponge on a stick that you can buy. So would you pay $10 for a sponge on a stick? Some people are going to say yes, because there are some benefits to having a sponge on a stick called Clean Reach. So in that case, I think Clean Reach will work for some people. But if you think it's ridiculous, chances are, if you buy it, you'll still think it's ridiculous. Let me know if you've seen Clean Reach and tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Please subscribe to this channel for more as seen on TV product reviews. Until next time, this is James White with Freakin' Reviews. Thank you.